What's up guys, welcome to another video. So today's topic is a Luma Fusion transition in case um, the real world effect. I, I've used this transition in my Vietnam travel video. You can check it out up there or up there, I don't know, right now. <laughs> Left or right, not you. And um, to see how this effect will look like in Final Cut. But I, I tried to copy this effect and produce it in LumaFusion with a kind of different style I like more than the uh, Final Cut effect. So don't miss any video in future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course give this video a thumb up if you like it. But before we start I have some news. The first news are um, I'm back from Vietnam obviously and uh, will of course continue uploading nice tutorials about LumaFusion. The first tutorials are all about my travel video I've produced because I've used some effects and I want to show it you how to produce them, how to use them, to give your videos a more interesting touch. And of course, they are all in Luma Fusion these effects. So the second news are, I've lost my shaver, of course. <laughs> no, just kidding. And uh, the third news are, I've got a new phone, so iPhone 10s, um, 256 gigs. And I want to use it to edit in LumaFusion when I don't have my iPad with me. And of course, I'm going to make videos about it. So editing videos on a smartphone, which is kind of crazy actually. But the second thing about this, I also want to use its camera because I've heard and read a lot about it. And most people say it's the best camera for filming and video shooting. So I'm gonna try this out and we'll make of course videos about it. So, but, but now let's jump into the iPad. So we are on LumaFusion now. As you can see, I've already edited one uh, rolling world effect, uh, but I also prepared for the tutorial. So there are eight, two clips which we need. The best is if you choose two landscape scenes because you know we call it role world so we want some world aka landscape to be moved in this case we have one rice field in vietnam and one scooter movie i've shot in vietnam as well so the first step is to cut three 10 frame clips out of the first clip so just be sure they are exactly 10 frames long. So this one is 11, so jump back, move back one frame and cut. So 10 frames. Then the next one. And another one. Then repeat the same with the second clip, but cut only two 10 frame samples and one 5 frame clip. Okay, now just follow my example where I'm dragging the uh, sample clips. Then double tap the first clip. Go to frame and fit, set a keyframe at the first frame. Then go to the fifth frame, so in the middle, add another keyframe and move the position Y until the frame is or the clip is out of frame. Okay. Then go to the clip above by double tapping it. 
also move to the first frame, set a keyframe and move it out of the frame. Then go to the middle, set a keyframe and move position Y to zero until it fills the frame. So what we have now is a moving roll effect. Then repeat this with all the other clips until you get a continuous rolling. Just follow my example. Now we've done all the frame and fit stuff. Let's go to FX and add some motion blur. At the first clip we want a nice transition. So we want to smoothen the motion blur. So set a keyframe at the first frame and set motion blur to zero. And then move on another few frames like two or three and set motion radius to about 15. Then we have to add another effect and this is the distortion. So let's select it. Oh, not tall uh, distortion. Sorry for that. Okay, here we go. Set a keyframe at the first frame and set radius to zero. So we've got the normal radius. Then move on two or three frames and set radius to two. And what we have to do now is just copying this FX and paste them to all the other uh, clips, except we have to remove the uh, keyframes. I'm going to speed this a little bit up for you and you can just follow my example. So now we are at the last clip. What we want now is a smooth uh, 
reduction of the motion blur. So we're setting keyframes and reducing it. And that's it. Now we have a really nice real world effect to move between two landscapes and uh, keeping the motion. So example, for this example, I've used a drone clip and a clip from a scooter. So both moving forward. And I wanted to keep the motion between those two clips and using the rolling world effect will keep the motion. So guys, this was the rolling world effect. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Of course, you have to give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to don't miss any video in the future. And if you have any wishes or just want to say something, put it in the comments. I will read it and report it. So guys, this is it with the rolling world transition. I hope you have haven't. So guys, this was it with the rolling world transition. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to don't miss any video in future. And we'll see each other next time, guys. Bye.